What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Uh, real quick video. I've been getting a lot of people asking about the drive shaft and uh, what I'm doing about that. Uh, I'm going to show you because the stock S10 drive shaft will not work with the new four, uh, whatever it is, 400 turbo transmission. So I've got a brand new one being built and I got to take some measurements for the dude. I've got a brand new yoke under here and so does she. But we're going to take some measurements and hopefully pick it up this week and maybe drive it this week too. Maybe next week. Who knows? But let's jump onto the truck and get some, uh, yeah. All right. So as you see here, we have a brand new yoke and we have a yoke, 1330 yoke on the rear end. So we've got to take measurements from the center of the U-joint here, the center of it right there to the center on the back and that will give us the measurement for the drive shaft and they'll take into consideration you know uh, how far it can be moved in and out to get into the yoke but he said bottom it out here and then take the measurement so that's what we're gonna do all right let's take this Bottom it out. Bottom it out. Is that seal? Yeah. So that's pretty good. All right, I'll take measurement from the center of this as best as I can get it to the back. So we're going to go. Mm, bark. About right there. He said be best to measure to the shoulder here because that is the center of the cap and that's what we're going to do. We're going to measure right there. Whatever that is, is what we gotta tell him. All right. Dear YouTube community, it's time Hayfield Garage gets a lift, cause, oh man. Yeah, we need a lift. Let's go pick up a drive shaft. All right, a couple days later and several hundred dollars later, we have this brand new drive shaft from Republic Diesel in Louisville. Very, very nice piece. Fresh, heavy duty U-joints on both ends. I think this is a 1350 on this end. And this one is a 1330, which is the pinion side. We're gonna get this measured just so you guys can know and throw it in the truck. We're very, very, very close to driving it, um, but this video is just gonna be a drive shaft video. Um, I'll drive it in the next one, so stay on the look, be on the lookout for that. Measuring from center here to center here is 55 and a half inches. This is for your typical LS with a 400 turbo transmission. I will measure the drive shaft that came out of the truck that was for an LS with a 4L60 with the truck shaft, the truck tail shaft. There's a big difference there. So don't get confused. Don't get these measurements confused. This is just a rough idea. Uh, the, drive shaft, <clears throat> the drive shaft that we're getting ready to measure is the stock one that came out of the S10. I had it shortened and had some new U-joints put in it. And it's got a different type of thing on it but we'll get that one measured and compare the two this is the stock s10 drive shaft this is when i had it shortened that's how long ago it was i'm gonna get a quick measurement from center here to center here and compare them about 50 and a half about four 51 and three quarter it's not very accurate on the other end but yeah
Your drive shaft needs to be about 50 to 50 and a half inches for a 4060 with a truck tail shaft and the LS for it to work. Now the rear end doesn't matter. The rear end doesn't matter because the drive shaft worked with the seven and a half and it worked with the nine inch. Only thing I had to change was the pinion, the yoke on uh, the rear end itself. Drive shaft length was fine when I did that. But now that we're doing a 400 turbo swap into the truck, the drive shaft is, um, that drive shaft is too short. So my dog's acting a fool. Let's go look at her.